Shipmates, I'm Rear Admiral Greg Emery, Commander of Naval Information Force Reserve, here today with the Chief of Navy Reserve, Vice Admiral John Muston, to highlight the changes we've made in the Information Warfare Reserve community. Thanks, Greg. It's great to join you here today. So shipmates, we are at a critical inflection point in our country's history. Specifically, we find ourselves in an era of strategic competition, where the strategic depth you provide as our nation's reserve force is essential to our ability to fight and win a war. To ensure we're ready, we've implemented generational changes to our Navy Reserve and are rethinking the way we do business. Over the last three years, we've been hard at work transforming our force, changing the way we organize, man, train, equip, and mobilize. So we do so more efficiently to ensure the Navy Reserve can generate and deliver a predictable product. That product is warfighting readiness. This means each of us must be ready to perform immediately on station. Rear Admiral Emery is tasked to make this vision a reality for the IW community. He's leading from the front, creating a more capable and agile reserve information warfare community, and meeting the challenges ahead. Thank you, CNR. I want to share some of the work being done at ComNav I-4 Reserve and how we will operationalize to be more effective and more responsive. What does it mean to operationalize CNIFR? It means we are transforming our organization to fully achieve warfighting readiness. We're changing how we do business to ensure we're solving the right problems, removing barriers to efficiency and effectiveness, and owning readiness so that our Navy Reserve Information Warfare Force is ready on day one. Over the past year and a half, a dedicated team of senior information warfare cell res leaders, the core team, on orders at our headquarters in Fort Worth, Texas, have been focused exclusively on this effort. I tasked that team to develop courses of action with three goals in mind. Improve our execution of Echelon 3 responsibilities, optimize our command and control, and assume responsibility and accountability for both billet-specific mission readiness and mobilization readiness of our information warfare force. We will establish Echelon 4 commands called NIFR Readiness Centers, or RedSENs, to replace our NIFR regions. These new Echelon 4 commands will continue to operate out of Washington, D.C., Norfolk, Jacksonville, Fort Worth, San Diego, and Minneapolis. We're changing our geography-based model, and now all Information Warfare Reserve units will be aligned to an Echelon 4 command based on unit type, function, and mission support provided. As an example, all Navy Reserve Readiness units that support the Office of Naval Intelligence will belong to a single Echelon 4 Red Sen. An 06 Cell Res will serve as the commanding officer and lead an integrated active duty, TAR, Cell Res, and civilian staff. Our current Reach Comms or Regional Commanders will transition to become the first commanding officers and will be authorized to wear the command ashore pin. We intend to make this change to Echelon 4 commands and realign our units on 1 October 2023. An aggressive timeline to be sure, but one I'm committed to achieving. Not that aggressive. But that's not the end of it. The core team is also working hand in hand with Commander Navy Reserve Forces Command on a plan to transition some of the missions, functions, and tasks currently owned by Navy Reserve Centers to CNIFR. We've already successfully transitioned enlisted and junior officer assignments to our N1 team. Almost all special security officer functions belong to CNIFR, and our N7 is now responsible for quota management and requirements for our newest officer sessions to attend officer development school. We continue to review and analyze other mission functions and tasks that CNIFR can assume and will do so in a deliberate and iterative way that ultimately will improve the velocity and efficiency required to mobilize our force. You might be asking how will operationalizing make the information warfare community better? Well, there are several ways. Creating Echelon 4 commands will streamline CNIFR's C2 and optimize TICOM support to our Navy and Joint Force partners. Our new Red Sen COs will holistically identify common opportunities and challenges across supported command units and develop solutions to optimally organize, man, train, and equip them. It will enable improved and persistent engagement with supported commands while also improving enterprise-wide requirements such as training, manning, and retention. Operational commanders will now have a single Echelon 4 advocate for their requirements. Shipmates, I know that change is not easy, and the changes we're undertaking at CNIFR are not trivial. That said, I'm asking each of you to embrace these changes and innovate with me on ways we can be better. Together, we can improve the ways we develop, generate, and mobilize combat-credible IW sailors. By making these changes now, our sailors will be ready on day one to answer our country's call to arms. Thank you to each and every one of you. 
your commitment to our Navy Reserve IW team, your supported operational commands, and our great Navy is selfless, all while juggling the demands of your civilian careers and families. I'm keenly aware of your sacrifices and sincerely appreciate your enduring commitment to our country. This is fantastic work, Greg. Shipmates, as you can see, Admiral Emery and his team have been hard at work. Their efforts are perfectly aligned to our singular priority, warfighting readiness. His vision for establishing new capability-based Echelon 4 commands is entirely consistent with my vision for centers of excellence, a place where communities of practice can coordinate based on scalable training to qualify and certify supported command requirements. Our Navy Reserve Information Warfare professionals bring some of the Navy's most unique skills and the most relevant capabilities to the fight, specifically space, cyber, artificial intelligence, and machine learning, to name only a few. This reorganization will immediately improve the Navy's access to those capabilities. It'll enhance our total force integration, and it will deliver the ready forces our nation requires. I appreciate the all-hands-on-deck transformative approach that Rear Admiral Emery and his team have brought to bear to achieve these objectives. We've come a long way, but we still have much to do. Now let's get busy out there.